So uh, working on Tintin, I mean, how was it to work with Mr. Steven Spielberg? It was everything that you would imagine it to be. You know, it was it was a chance to work with someone who inspired me to get involved with filmmaking in the first place. And and uh, you know, he's a superb director and a, and a great actors director and a, a wonderful technician. And and as a fan of film and a fan of his, I considered it a privilege to actually be able to get directed by the man. You know. And do you ever? Now, you've worked with quite a few of your heroes, I guess, along the way now. Do you ever still get starstruck? Like when you first met Spielberg, were you just like? Yeah, pretty... I, to a degree. Mm. You have to. You kind of have to bury that stuff. You can't yeah. go to pieces around these people because <laughs> you have to be ta you have to be taken seriously by them, and you want to be an equal in their presence. You don't want to kind of like ever make them feel a bit weirded out, like he's going to come and ask me for a picture in a minute. <laughs> but uh, you know, I went into the that first meeting with him, and I played it as cool as I possibly could, and. It was funny actually. I remember when the second day I, I, after I met him, I went back to see him again with Edgar and Joe, and we were sat round uh, having lunch with him. And Tom Cruise, funnily enough, came to visit set because obviously he's friends with Steven. Mm. And Kathy Kennedy was there as well, his, Steven's long time term produ producing partner. And me and Joe and Edgar, these three little nerds from London, you know, were sat round the table with Tom and Steven and Kathy, just eating sandwiches and chatting. And it was a situation that you would. Any you know person would be forgiven for just geeking out. Go, oh my god! <laughs> but you know you, we didn't. We just sat and chatted, and it was really fun. And later on in the day, yeah. we went. Do you remember that when we were sat around the table with you know? But uh, you just <laughs> have to man up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it must have been uh, fascinating to watch Spielberg doing something because this was relatively new for him as well, working mm. with mocap. Yeah. On an animated feature, I guess he was kind of dipping his toe into the water and see what was happening as well. Yeah, it was a treat to see. Him. It was a treat to see such an accomplished director actually having some fun with something new mm. and learning the process, you know, albeit at a geometric rate, of course, because he's <laughs> Steven Spielberg. But he was he was finding out new things he could do with the performance capture camera every day and and learning how to use the technology to its full extent. That was fascinating. In the same way that it was interesting to see Brad Bird, who was an animator, you know, working with mm. live action in Mission Impossible. It was a treat this year. For, well. And those are, and I did I did my work on Tintin three years ago, but it has been a treat of late to see such accomplished directors get a chance to play in a new sort of mm. playground. You know, I mean, how did you enjoy the the performance capture? It was fun experience. It was a lot of fun. It was it was it was new and different, and it was a new challenge. And there was a specific way of doing it that was um, that, that that the technology required a certain way of pitching your performance. And you know, every day we went through this whole rigmarole of. You're what's called ROMed into the computer every morning, so you have to go through what's called ROM, which is read-only uh, um, read memory, that's what ROM is, range of <laughs> movement, uh, which is when you, you, you have to do all these different positions in front of the mm. camera, and so that the computer can sort of tr tron you in, you know, so you can exist as a 3D entity in the computer. And you have to do that before, in the morning and at lunchtime, and you do body ROM and facial ROM. And then you can walk into what's called the volume, which is the area yeah. of the studio which can be captured, and uh, and you have to stay in the volume. If you go out, you sort of de-res <laughs> and have to be re-rom. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And it must be amazing, I guess you kind of you're acting in the this vortex area, yeah. and then come out and actually see what they've done with the footage that you. Oh, you can see you it did. when you're in mm. the in the in the in the volume. You know, there's there's the a, there are monitors up that that display a, a crude kind of version. There, there's like. Nick and I could see each other as the Thompsons um, in a pretty good, I would probably say, better than a, say, an N64 graphics <laughs> yeah. of us as, you know, as the Thompsons. And we could, we could watch ourselves and do stuff, and you'd be seeing something that's not you doing exactly what you were doing, which was kind of weird. Do you enjoy working with special effects? Cause in diff you know, with Paul or the Star Trek film, or the Star Trek, and uh, obviously Shaun of the Dead, you've worked in different types of special effects. Is that something you enjoy doing? Absolutely. I'm a big fan of special effects and I've you know uh, always have been and have and I've made great friends in the industry and uh, uh, because I, I'm fascinated by it I've, I've became great friends with Greg Nicotero who, who does all the Romero's work yes. and that is now directing episodes of The Walking Dead mm. um, and I always go to see his shop in Van Nuys in LA when I'm there because I just cool. love hang out and seeing all the models mm. and stuff it's like a big toy shop for me 